everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. I had actually planned on making a reshade master guide that was in the works and it was almost done and then today's update on April 10th happened which um, has kind of uh, let's say broken reshade a little bit. It has completely altered the way that um, the depth buffers of the newer versions are able to read the game. So my other tutorial that has been up since I believe May of 2022 is now rendered useless for everybody and not just people on low-end devices. That being said, thankfully that there's a version that does work. This is a version I have not made a tutorial on previously because it's fairly new and it was also something that we kept in the server. But due to today's update, I'm now making a video tutorial to create a visual guide on how to install this version. It is actually very simple. Basically, this is what has happened. Um, something has been implemented in the game that now blocks the depth map on all devices. If you've been in the server before, or if you've used Reshade before, you may have encountered the issue previously where you had set up your depth buffers correctly as the tutorial showed, but it still wasn't working. Basically, it's now like that for everybody and not just people on like a weak laptop or whatever. You can either continue using one of the newer versions um, and doing this wardrobe bug here. The issue with this is that you cannot use photo mode because the filter that you're removing by doing this bug still comes back in photo mode, basically. You can use it if you want to just take screenshots or maybe if you only use it for videos then you can use the new revisions what i do recommend you do however is download version 4.4 this is a modded version we were able to launch about a month ago we've had this written instruction since then but i understand that some people might struggle a little bit which is why i'm also making this video to show you guys visually how to download so the first thing we do is we scroll down to the exe that is on here and then don't worry about this we guarantee that if you download this modded exe from our server, there is no malicious content in this file, no virus, no malware, no nothing bad. It is only the reshade installation. We ask that you keep it this way, don't share this amongst yourselves, just to prevent anyone from putting anything bad in this exe. So please download this from the server. All you need to do is continue to download, and it will open in a browser. I suggest you put this on your desktop. It may tell you that this is harmful. It may warn you for having a harmful file type. You should then have the option to click keep anyways or download anyways or something similar. If you do that and it still flags it as a virus and prevents you from downloading it, here's what you do instead. Open your computer settings. Go into privacy and security. Click Windows security. And then click open Windows security. In the Windows security window, you will click virus and threat protection. Then we look here under virus and threat protection settings. We click manage settings. We scroll down to the bottom. And we find the section called exclusions. We then select add or remove exclusions. Click the plus here to add an exclusion. We select the file type and then we write .exe. Add. And now you should be able to download the modded exe from the Discord server. After you've downloaded the modded exe, please click the arrow and then click remove it's not a good exclusion to have. EXEs can be very, very harmful to your device. So please be careful. Keep your computer and your information safe. Delete the exclusion. Here is now the mod file that we just downloaded. All we need to do now is double click to run it. You will probably get this warning. Don't worry about it. Just click more info and then run anyways. The EXE should now show this window. And what we're doing is basically we're just extracting all of the files that we need to install and reshade. The default extraction location is to the same folder or the same location as the modded exe that we just downloaded. So just click extract and we should now have this folder. Open this folder and you will see four files. This is basically reshade and all that it needs to function. So all you need to do now is just copy these either by clicking control C or just clicking the copy button here at the top. You then go into the client folder, which is the location of the game, which is the SSO client here. All we need to do now is either click Control V to paste it or just click the paste button up here. And that's it. Now we have installed Reshade. There are now only two things that could cause Reshade not to open in your game. The first one being if you open your settings here in the launcher and then you click minimum requirements and this section here does not say 4.3 or higher, then you cannot run Reshade. The second reason for Reshade not opening would be if you have not put the files in the correct location. All you need to do is start up the game and click Control shift escape to open your task manager. You can see here we have the Star Stable Online application. Just right click and then click Open File Location. 
This will then open the location of the SSO client where the game is running from, which you can see is in this default file path. This is probably where you can find yours as well. So this is where we put our files. And all we need to do right now is click home. This is how the 4.4 version looks like. I would suggest going into your settings first and cu then customizing some things here. There's some quality of life updates that might make it easier for you. I will show you how I usually set up my reshade. I always set my effect toggle key to F3. This is a custom style, which has been created by Jorben, who is mentioned in the 4.4 post in the reshade forum. I personally really like um, the default dark one, so I will stick to that. I'll also reduce the font a little bit because my monitor is quite big, so having the big font is a little bit too much. Then I really like having the clock on, and then I also really like being able to see my FPS just to keep track of my performance. So you can see them here. Another thing I will do is also change this to block input when cursor is on overlay so I can move my camera around. I really like everything being round. And then I will also select to group my effect files with tabs instead of a tree. This just makes everything a little bit easier to manage in the home tab here. This is what I choose to do with my installation. You don't have to touch anything. That's just small quality of life updates that I like doing to customize my experience with reshade. But other than that, you don't need to adjust anything for this version to work. You don't have to tweak any depth buffers, nothing like that. All you need to do is put the files in the correct spot. Other than this, there is nothing else you need to do. Any additional setup will now just be for the specific effects. Please note, some effects might not be available in this version. This is an older build. Some effects might be too updated that can't be used in this program. Don't worry about it. You can just delete it if you want. Some effects might not have all of the features that they have in the newer versions. Basically, this version is a compromise, but it's one that actually works because you can actually use it in photo mode, which is awesome. One thing that does differ a little bit in this version compared to the newer versions is the way you select your presets. The default location here, as you can see the default preset here, is in the client folder, but it doesn't actually say the file path, which is a little bit frustrating. But that's the default location of where this will open. 4.4 is a little bit finicky sometimes with saving presets. It like it doesn't really have permission to do it, if that makes sense. So what I suggest you do, you cl click these two dots here to go backwards, basically taking steps backwards in the file explorer. So here is as far as I can go. And this is my main drive, basically. This is the C drive. You can see I have the program files here. I can go, I can backtrack again and go back into the client folder. Where I just was, but I will go back out as far as I can. And here I have put all of my reshade presets. You just make a folder on your main drive and then you open that. And here I have all of my presets instead. Now here's the issue. Presets in reshade are not transferable downwards. This means that if you made a preset in version, let's say 6.0 or 5.9, which are like the default or the most commonly used effects now, they will not open, they will open blank. You can see here I have a preset from the lovely Kilia Eastern. I click it and it opens blank, right? The thing is, the settings are actually still there. The problem is you have to like manually enable them. So what I suggest you do is you ask the preset creator for a list of the active effects from that preset, and then you manually go through and enable them all. When you do that, you may also have to reorder them a little bit. As you can see here, I have three of them now, but they were in the wrong order. I have to move the DOF below the canvas fog or else I will have all of these weird lines you see here. So you might have to reorder them. The best thing is if you can get a screenshot from a higher version where the preset works properly from the preset creator and then just arrange all of the effects correctly in your effect list here. The other option is, of course, to either download some presets made specifically for 4.4 which we have uh, quite a few of in the server already, and I'm sure that there are gonna be plenty more now. <laughs> you can also, of course, make your own presets. Now, another thing that I will also warn you about a little bit, if you tab in and out of SSO with this version, you might risk your effects freezing, like you can see in this video here, sent in from somebody in the help chat. The effects basically aren't showing what's actually happening in the game anymore. They're not following the live game. Two things you can do about this is either, if it happens, you go into settings and graphics and you will toggle full screen on and then off to basically force reload the game you cannot just click reload in the overlay it doesn't work what you can do though is you can open the opengl tab and you should be able to click and then unclick this and it should force the depth buffer to work again 
However, if you are maybe somebody with only one monitor, so you're constantly tabbing in and out of the game to maybe open Discord or whatever, I recommend that you download this program called Borderless Gaming. You can find the link in this post here called Common Issues in the Reshade Help Chat. You just click this link here and it will open the GitHub for this download. Scroll down until you see the latest green button here, which is version 9.5. Download the setup and then just run it. After you've downloaded Wordless Gaming, just make sure that your game is in windowed mode as you can see mine is here. You then open the program and then you find the SSL client in the list here. Click the arrow here and add it to your favorites and then go into the game here. Now it should reload and it will basically simulate the game being in full screen. So now you can tab between all of your windows while still keeping the game open in the background. That will help keep your effects live and well and not freezing. So that's the very simple installation of Reshade 4.4. I also suggest you claim the role for Reshade news in the server to get pinged about any future updates, like if the effects do start working again with the newer versions, etc. etc. You will be notified about any crucial Reshade updates for SSO there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please enjoy and have fun playing.